Alright. <clears throat> you know what? We ain't gotta go to Target. We can take Target off. <clears throat> That's gonna be too many stairs. Previously with Peyton. Y'all know they say when you get acting up, put on some cute and go to Home Depot. <laughs> I've been thinking of a new direction, and I had to say, yeah. Let me tell you how much I love you. Let me tell you, boy, you really need to be my baby, baby, baby. I can picture. Us in the living room by the mantelpiece. Somebody said, um, my bulging eyes distract them. Mm. Yeah. The gag is, you control your eyes. So if you don't want to see mine, guess what you got to do with yours? Close them. If you haven't already, definitely go and check out those vlogs. They're super, super funny. And let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. Whew. I feel like I have been so productive today, you guys. And I have Equar to thank for being able to give me a great night's sleep with these pajamas because I feel like the pajamas really help me sleep good at night okay um, and if you guys did not know about Equire, Equire is a luxury pajama brand that offers quality pajama pieces for reasonable prices and helps you sleep better at night recent study shows that a lot of people think that sleep is a luxury and you should be getting eight to ten hours of sleep so a good quality pair of pajamas will help you not only are you not tossing and turning at night because you're restricted and you're wearing tight panties or tight bra these are very um comfortable but also they add warmth so you're not freezing cold at night but also cooling so you're not having night sweats so let's talk more about the pajama sets that I got. I got three different sets. And like I said, you can get these directly from the website, equire.com, or you can get these on Amazon. And I do have a coupon code, which is Peyton30, that you guys can use to get 30% off. Okay, so the first set is the Equar Women's Satin Silky Pajama Set. This is a short sleeve shirt with long pajama pants. These can be worn for sleepwear, nightwear, loungewear, daily wear, pajama party, or relaxing around the house. And it's a loose fit with a satin short sleeve shirt. It's lightweight and it features a pullover tee, top, and long pants. The next pajama set is this ribbed pajama set. Super, super comfy. It has a drawstring on both sides of the top. So you can kind of ruche the top and the pants come a little bit right above the ankles, but super, super comfy. The last one is this blue silk sleeveless PJ set with a soft camisole top and pants. It has an adjustable spaghetti strap for easy wearing. It sits close to the skin and provides ultimate comfort. It helps you have a sound sleep when wearing this comfort lightweight pajama set. Now, if you guys know anything about me, you know that I do not play about my pajama sets. I like to sleep comfortable. I don't like to be super cold at night, but I also don't like to be extremely hot. These are extremely comfortable. I find myself being productive just wearing them throughout the day. So these are a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend. Like I said, you can go to equire.com and use my code Peyton30 for 30% off. Or you can also tap into Amazon and get these off of Amazon as well. So I I will leave the links in the description box for you guys to check them out. And thanks again to Equire for sponsoring today's video. Hey y'all, welcome back to another weekly vlog. We are lounging around. Today is Monday, Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to all the vets out there. Um, we are lounging around, relaxing. I actually have an eventful day today. Uh, I need to go to Target and do a feminine hygiene haul and pick up some new feminine products. Um, I also need to see if I can find Kyron's shade. I'm gonna bring a lot of my makeup 
uh, because I plan on doing Karen's hair and her makeup for prom. Um, I feel like I'm totally qualified to do it. I used to be a makeup artist. Um, it was like something that I, that I was doing when I first started YouTube and, and I know how to do hair. So I really don't want her birthday because her birthday is on prom. I really don't want her birthday to be like stressful because we getting ready for prom. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't want to be like running here to get this done and running here to get that done. And, and I, I don't want to be on someone else's time too because um, June 2nd is Friday. Um, there could it could potentially have like time issues and time constraints and stuff like that and i was looking on style seat for makeup artists in chicago i found a few um but we would have to go to them and i just i, I don't want to get caught in traffic i don't want to you know I, I don't want her birthday to be hectic because of prom and I don't want to be it to be stressful because of prom so I'm like you know what I could just do her hair and makeup I do her hair really well every time I do her hair um she's naturally beautiful so she don't need a lot of makeup this is actually gonna be her first time getting her makeup done I would want it to be me doing it anyway because I feel I know you know what my child needs and she don't need a lot you know what I'm saying um Plus, it's, it's, it's great bonding for us. Her first time getting her makeup done is when her mom does it. You know what I'm saying? Her mom did her hair for prom. Like, this is stuff that she can talk about when she gets older and be happy about it and proud when I'm long gone. You know what I'm saying? So, I just decided that I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? She she get her, she can get her makeup done when she went for her wedding. She can get her makeup done for her wedding. Y'all want us to be beefing. Y'all could be beefing at that wedding. Keep it at that wedding. She can get her makeup done at that wedding. I'm ashamed to say I don't know my baby's shade in the foundation, though, because she lighter than me. So, I don't think I have a shade for Kyra. So, we will have to, when we get there, we will have to go to the mall and get her matched for her own foundation shade. Because I definitely don't think I have none. Especially this, this shade right here, baby. She is tanned, okay? But we loving it. I got some new gym equipment for the gym. Um, I got this like squat rack, squat bench. Um, I'll show it to y'all. It's called the Life Pro 2-in-1 Sissy Squat Machine and Hip Thrust. So you can do a variety of things with this little bitty squat rack. And it was, oh my God. I paid $154 for this. Oh, that must have been one of them nights I couldn't sleep and I was up on Amazon. Amazon is so dangerous. Wow. That's how much I paid for that? I sure in the hell better use it. I think aside of my tempo, that might be the most expensive gym equipment that I have bought off Amazon. I don't even think my squat rack and my... Uh, my my bench press. I don't even think that that was that expensive. That's expensive for that little bitty piece of thing. I hope it. I hope it's not hard to put together. But we got to put this together. And I actually want to work out and try it out too. So let me add workout to my to do list. And we're also um doing some spot painting today. So we just added leg day to the list. Even though I'm so sore from yoga sculpt, I am extremely sore. Very very sore. Like, wow, we went in, we got it in. And then I also need to do some spot paint around the house. So it was something that I should have done when I first moved in. Because these these spots on the wall have literally been here the entire time I have lived here. I just never really got around the time to do it. So this new burst of energy that I've recently had, um, now I want to get it done. So... I'm relaxing right now because once I do start moving and grooving and shaking and baking, um, putting shit together, going to Target, painting the house, I know by the end of the day I should be tired. I should be. So I I should, and, and especially if I work out and do leg day, I should be tired. So after I get out the shower, I should get straight in the bed and go to sleep. And hopefully we can get back on schedule. Because I was doing so good. I was waking up at 8, 9 o'clock every morning. Now I'm back to waking up in the afternoon. 1 and 2 o'clock. That last trip, baby, that last trip pushed me all the way off schedule. 
and I just not I have not been able to go to sleep at night so that's what we're doing today but I'm relaxing right now and I'm trying my best not to take a nap today because if I take a nap I'm gonna be up all night one minute 37 seconds later Baby Carrie would lose me each and every time she fired up a cigarette. Gotta go, gotta go. Well, damn. This door was open this whole time. I am ridiculous. I know my car better be fully fucking charged. I know that. Because I've been in the house for a whole day and a half. I got this right boy on my Rasta. He be feeding me lobster and pasta. I cannot get that out of my head. I've been saying it all day. Now where she find him at? Papa Dolls? Melodies from heaven Rain down on me Rain down on me Melodies The other night I was watching the uh, Dallas the uh, day in my life when Jemima came to Dallas because that video had a copyright issue on it right and it was so weird because the copyright was for a freaking the freak we, we was in an Italian restaurant and they was playing this classical music that got picked up for a freaking cop they got hit for a copyright for a cover song it was even it wasn't even a real song they picked it up for a cover and it was like bro it was the blue moon it was blue moon playing in the background y'all know that blue moon shine on it was one of them old ass Frank Sinatra ass songs I think I think Frank, Frank Sinatra sang I don't know here but anyway it was classical music it was literally like a jazz band playing it and it was real low I'm thinking that it's not you can't even hear it but that shit got picked up hit for a fucking copyright so I literally have been waiting 30 days for them cause I disputed it and I've been waiting 30 days for them to um lift the dispute but they didn't lift it it just expired where am i going now i should be getting you know revenue for that video and they had put all of my revenue in escrow which means that um any revenue that i made from that video is held separately i'm sorry if the lighting is going in and out i'm i'm filming in a different mode today i'm filming in like the aperture mode instead of the intelligent auto mode um but anyway um yeah so they put it in escrow and they hold my revenue separately or whatever and i should see it like in the next month or so but yeah i went back to watch it to see if like ads were being ran on the video which i think i think it is um, but it wasn't even no ads running on that specific, specific, specific It wasn't even any ads being ran on that specific part of the video and I hate that I really hate that YouTube allows these people to take our entire revenue for the video for three four six seven seconds of a freaking song like this shit is so crazy to me it's so crazy like they should get like a small percentage, not 100% of your revenue, your ad revenue. That's crazy to me. But anyway, um, yeah, I was watching the video and in that video, I took, um, well, I met Jamima at a, I think it's a Vietnamese restaurant um, in, um, what, what area is this? It's West Village, in West Village. Y'all, that food so doggone good. Damn, I done went the wrong way. But anyway, as I was saying, um, 
uh, we end up meeting up at this Asian restaurant. I want to say it's Vietnamese. I really want to say it's Vietnamese, but it could be Thai. It could be. It could be Thai. Um, that food so dang on good, y'all. I had a I had a freaking mocktail that was made of like cucumbers, mangoes, and lime, and mint. It was good. And I forgot the dish that I had, but I'm about to order it again. And I said I wasn't going to eat out today. But the way that the way that me though that specific meal has been on my mind since last night, I got to go eat it. I got to go I got to have it. I got to have it immediately in my belly, immediately. Can I get the mocktail? The mocktail. Sure. Did you want something in particular like a mojito or did you want something um, well, the last time I came, this guy, um, he, it was like a, it had mint, cucumber, and mango. Okay, yeah. Did they have any juice in there? Do you know? I don't know. She ain't gonna be able to make it right. I already know she ain't gonna do it right. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably gonna have to show her this picture. Cause I can't remember what I ordered. So hot, look at it. You see this thing? So I am getting ready to install my um my Moxie Bluetooth shower head. One of the um, PayPal's got me this. Thank you again, sis. So I'm about to install it. I'm about to take this rainfall shower head off. How long have I had that up? Cause I, I think I need to change my filter too. I like, kind of feel like I already have one of these out. So I got this off of Amazon and it says it's, it maintains oral hygiene. It's great for protecting sensitive skin, repair and moisturizing hair and baby health care. And you can use it up to six months. So when you first take the filter out, you want to place it under the faucet. You just have to do it for like 20 seconds and screw it on and reinstall it. But this is the shower head. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this, put the filter like right here. This is so freaking cool, y'all, because I be like. When I tell you, I honestly need uh, something where I can hear my music in the shower. Moxie, wow, it it popped up so fast on my phone. So now it's connected. From the shot to the after party. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my God, y'all gotta get this experience experience your shower like never before oh my god y'all that bluetooth speaker so loud oh my god sis thank you so much i got my uh retainer in that's why i have a little list so sorry about that but thank you sis so much okay so where my where my right chip okay let's go ahead and install this motherfucker so first, this needs to get, this is the filter for pure water. And then this is going to go here. And then we're going to put this here. Take our Bluetooth and slide it in. And it just, it just slide in and stay in like that, huh? 
Did I know come out? Yeah, did I know come out? So I'm a grown woman today. singing in the choir I don't know I'm actually um, getting my day started today it's gonna be a self-care day not really a maintenance day but I'm actually um, I'm headed to get my lip filler dissolved um, when I woke up Sunday right cuz it, it, it's not a everyday thing but Sunday when I woke up, I didn't like my lips. And it was because I feel like the last time Gabby did them, um, she didn't do them as good as the first time. Um, so some days I have, um, I, I can't explain it, but some days you can literally see the filler sitting in my lips. And it looks bad um so i'm getting it dissolved it's not to say that i won't get them redone but i actually might like my natural lips i haven't seen my natural lips since i got my damn nose done so i actually might like my natural lips so i, I might not get them redone but the point is to get them dissolved so i can get them done over by tetchy who's like <sighs> she's like the best here right so um and th and that's who i went to the last time i wanted to get a touch up and she wouldn't touch my lips because she wanted to dissolve them dissolve them and completely redo them and i was like no nah, i don't want you to redo my lips i like my lips i just want them touched up and plumped up a little bit um and i was mad about it and try to unfollow her and everything because i was like why should you want to do my lips like i just wanted a little touch up and Tetchy high as hell too but she's so good she's so good and um i really want them reshaped because i don't know she doesn't let you film though that's one thing about Tetchy because she doesn't want you to see her technique she doesn't let you film so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to film this process for y'all and i take y'all every everywhere with me but yeah she don't let you film this so i, I wonder if she'll let let me film the the dissolving part but if not you know oh well um yeah the point is i'm getting them dissolved so i can get them reshaped i just i want a different shape i don't want this this shape of lip anymore um but like i said it's not to say that you know after they're dissolved i won't like my natural lips and want to keep my natural lips so you know who knows we'll know within a week yeah but today's a self-care day after this i need to go to target and re-up on my hygiene products and then we have a facial um a hydrofacial schedule at 1 30 
I got some new stuff in for the gym that I need to put together and I also need to get a car wash um I need to pack because we're, we're traveling this week you ain't saying nothing girl what the hell Siri ain't even fucking talking Oh, because I turned the fucking radio off. Bye. So as I was saying, now today would be one of them days where I wake up and I love my lips. Today would be one of them days. But yeah, we're still getting them them dissolved. I am so I am so nervous. Excuse me, y'all. I am so nervous because I watched her do a, a, a couple of dissolve, uh, dissolving sessions on her Instagram. Oh my God, they look so painful. And last night I went back and I watched my turkey video where I got my lips done. I cannot stress this enough how good that doctor is that did my lips. Like, the way I want to get on a flight, I started back wearing my retainers last night and like the... The way it immediately closes that gap that be like right here in between. Maybe it be like right here. It be a gap down here somewhere. I think it be right here. The way it immediately closes my gap. But when I wake up in the morning, my teeth are so sore. But yeah, it it, it made me want to go back, like go back to Turkey and let him do my lips because he is so, I mean, he just did exactly what I wanted them to do. I really should have never got them touched up because I really, really like my lips. And yeah, but we're going to see what they looking like after she dissolved them because I heard that um, it take a week for them to be fully dissolved, but you start seeing it almost immediately. But I don't know. When I seen her dissolve lips, that girl lips were swollen as fuck. And, and, it didn't look like they got dissolved. But, uh, we about to see. Okay, we are currently numbing. I'm here in the office. I was, I was late. So, okay, so I was on time. I got here at, I got here with 12 minutes to spare. But their address on the email says Lemon Avenue Age Management. So when I came to what I felt like, okay, it must be the plastic surgeon's office, I went to the reception and the girl was like, no, that's either on four or two. And baby, that elevator is not an oldest ele elevator. I don't know what kind of elevator it is, but baby, that elevator is so slow. By the time I figured out that I had came to the right place, it was 1039. That elevator is so slow. When I tell you, I got here with 12 minutes to spare. My appointment was at 12, 12, 10.30. And so I walked straight back up to her. I was like, I'm here to see Tetchy. And she was like, oh, but you said that. I said, that's what the email says, love. The email says Lemon Avenue Age Management. Age Management. It doesn't say Plastic Surgery Center. But now that I'm here, let me look around. <laughs> so yeah, we're numbing. And she said that. I should, I'm going to be really swollen when I leave here today, but tomorrow I'll see what my natural lips look like. And she even said, um, this is her assistant, she even said, because um, I was like, I'm getting my lips dissolved. Oh, this llama cream nasty. I actually, um, I smell so good today. I have on um, BDK Passoir. She said that it's normal for girls to get their lips dissolved and then love their natural lips. She was like, you may still want to re-get them done, but you won't want them as full as the last time. And I feel like that might happen. Like I might actually just like my natural lips and not get them redone, who knows? But I definitely plan on getting them reshaped, so. So this is Tetchy, you guys. Hi. The best lip filler <laughs> girl and Thank nurse you. in Dallas. <laughs> and her skin is glowing. Give me your skin. So um, it's very important for y'all to uh, take care of your skin. Um, I'm gonna share you my skin secret. So I love using hyaluronic acid serum twice a day, okay? No matter if you're dry, you're oily, it doesn't matter because it's uh, water, um, it pulls 
you know, it kind of gives you like water in your skin. So you need that um, twice a day. And then um, are you on vitamin C? Mm -hmm. Serum daily. Mm -hmm. So vitamin C, you, uh, no matter what type of uh, serum you get. So always get vitamin C serum. You use it um, once a day. Okay, especially in the morning, you pair it up with sunscreen. Okay, and then moisturizer. And I really like to use just a basic moisturizer that doesn't give me any stinging. You know, uh, the most basic moisturizer that you can ever find. You know, I use that twice a day, mainly because my skin loves it. If you're super oily, you can generally use it if you're, you know, super dry. Okay. And then um, wash your face um, twice a day. I personally like to use um, um, Face Reality uh, Gentle Cleanser and then Lemieux um, Mandelic Acid. Um, it's like a brightening cleanser. I think you will benefit from that too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can give you the, you know, the link. Okay. All right. So brightening cleanser once or twice a day. Um, and then retinol at night. How do you feel about retinol? Uh, to me, um, because um, you know, I already know my skin. I'm very, very sensitive. Um, I cannot tolerate um, uh, super uh, strong stuff. Uh, so I would opt for like a much more gentler version, which is retinol. Okay. Because I already know my skin. Uh, I've tried ret retinoin. I tried. 0 0.1 0 0.25 it just doesn't like go well with my skin mm -hmm. so you have to like really really know what your skin type is you know if you're sensitive go for a more gentler products okay because it's you know it's much better rather than doing it um too strong um especially like with our skin type i'm fitzpatrick four you're fitzpatrick four so what happens is we are melanin um, reactivate so quickly you know you can't irritate it too much um, you know if we use a stronger products you'll get even darker also use sunscreen mm -hmm. okay so no matter like let's say oh you know I have I you know I don't think I need sunscreen yes you do okay definitely yep that's my tip and you see her skin is like literally flawless yeah. thank you flawless. yeah I also um, once at least once a month um a regular hydrofacial or you know go to a reputable uh esthetician that will like do regular cleaning for you and um uh, i also like a uh, gentle chemical peel mm -hmm. you know okay lactic acid uh especially for our skin type lactic acid is good uh and um kojic acid okay peel yeah all right. Yeah. So we are um, numbing up. I'm pr I'm pretty numb. I don't I don't I don't feel I feel anything. Mm -hmm. She numbs. Um, and um, your you get a dental block as well, which I love because. Do you do the dental blocks for your fillers as well? Yes, I do. That's awesome. It just depends. Um, you know, some patients love the uh, dental block. I also put them on the strong numbing cream because. You know, you, you, you'd you rather be comfortable with this type of procedure, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the dental block takes away, you know, the the stinging sensation, okay, and the pain. Yeah. Significantly. Awesome. <laughs> All I right, let's I start. I don't, I don't mind needles. It's just uh, the stinging. Yep. Oh, and also this, um, I also gave you um, a buffer solution with the dissolver so it doesn't sting as much okay so triple you know i do a lot of like necessary measures so that the the procedure is comfortable thank you Yay. okay we're about to get started so i'll see y'all afterwards hi okay are y'all ready to see don't be scared now Baby, 
First of all, it's real. It's it's real interesting that my lips can't even get that big. That's ext. Am I leaking? Sure, I'm leaking. I need to go to the house and <clears throat> wipe off this blood. Listen here, I have. <laughs> to be a funny ass day baby this about to be the thumbnail what happened <laughs> oh i can't wait to edit this video i know i'm gonna be hollering i know i'm gonna be hollering baby come get me up off the floor <laughs> I might need to get up. I'm, uh, do they still sell masks? Oh, baby, I might need to go somewhere and get me a mask. Where is my Zyrtec? I thought they said they was going to give me some Zyrtec. <clears throat> I think I'm... Am I tripping or did I swell up some more? I feel like I just... Oh, wait. Oh. Yes, I think I'm. I think my lips is like swelling, swelling. Girl, we need to go somewhere and get some for this. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. I can't even damn talk. Help. Send help immediately. Okay, so next up we need to go to Target. We got a we got some returns to do at Sephora. We're getting a hydrofacial at one. We need to go get a car wash. And I had the nerve to put on here a film perfume collection. I am insane. I can't do that today. Rapper, the perfume collection is not getting posted in May. It's not. Oh my god. And I had a sponsorship that I needed to film. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Sure. <clears throat> you know what? We ain't gotta go to Target. We can take Target off. <clears throat> That's gonna be too many stairs. The least amount of stairs, the best. Oh, and we got a pack. Do I got a mask in here? <clears throat> I'm about to troll the shit out of people today. Let's go. Okay, first stop is Sephora. I do kind of feel like my lips are going down a little bit. I don't know. Because I can talk a bit better. At first, I couldn't talk. But y'all, they was, they was swelling up as I was talking. I'm like, wait a minute now. I hope I don't be slobbing all day. I'm not gonna put on my ass on because I actually want to see people's reaction. I think this shit gonna be funny as hell. I have a return. Okay. Just so you know, we're not allowed to allow filming oh, in the I'm store. I'm going straight. Okay. Okay. So while I was in there, how much was this? Cause. When I walked in there, the guy was like, oh, when I get my lips done, this is the product that I always use, and it has arnica in it, and it helps with inflammation. So I bought a Dior lip conditioner. How much was it, though? Oh, it was $40, of course, because everything with Dior is $40 and above. Okay, so I exchanged the Super Goop Glow Screen to the Resetting 100% Mineral Powder. So this has an SBF of 35. 
and then I also picked up the Dior Lip Maximizer Serum, which has extreme hydration and volume effect, instant and long term, day and night. Well, damn, I ain't need no volume. But it do got my lips looking nice and conditioned. Like, almost kind of like a gloss. But he, this goes on like a serum. And it was $40. And then after that, I got like $25 back on a little card. Are right, we going to stop and get us something to eat at Kava. I got 35 minutes to spare. They going down. They don't look. Try English. I was about to say, they don't look too bad. They going down, but <laughs> uh, no, ma'am. You look a fool. You look like a fool. You look like a fool. People are staring at me. Tell them to stop. Okay, I got the Harissa avocado bowl again. I haven't tried any of the other ones. Have y'all tried any of the other bowls? I always get this one because it comes with avocados and the um the sauce is uh spicy not hot but spicy but anytime i see anything with avocados in it i get it because avocados is good for like healthy weight gain Man, kava, cucumber, and mint lime juice. Smacking. So good. I've been drinking a lot of mocktails with cucumber in it. Cucumber, mango, lemonade. No, cucumber, mango, lemon, and mint. Fire. This cucumber and mint. Fire. This makes me want to get a juicer. So I can start making mocktails with cucumber in it because cucumber is so good in drinks wow all right we're doing good time it's gonna be one o'clock <clears throat> my appointment for my hydrofacial is one at 105 and it's literally right down the street so lips are going down i wonder if it has anything to do wow i like how they look right now they can actually stay like this and I'd be all right. But I don't think that's going to happen. <coughs> <clears throat> I always have acid reflux after I eat certain foods. It's a, it's definitely an indication of an excess amount of mucus in my body. So I definitely need to consume more alkaline foods and water because at first I was in like a neutral position the last time I checked my um, <clears throat> my blood I was in a, at a neutral position like I wasn't alkaline but I wasn't acidic you know what I'm saying <clears throat> so we definitely need to tap into our diet and make sure that we are at least neutral being alkaline is hard, but if you're alkaline, you're way more healthier than being acidic. You know what I'm saying? And there's an Asian girl in, in, in here, and she, her nails are always cute. I'm about to ask her where she get her nails done at again. I always ask her and I never go, but I'm going to ask her um, if she here today. And I'm probably going to start going to who does her nails because her nails are always cute. And she gets this shape. Um... And she have she has like the cutest little not little but she has the cutest pinterest designs so <clears throat> yeah my lips look way better now i possibly can proceed to go to target and do my feminine hygiene haul now but it's so crazy my tooth has already spaced out again y'all see that oh There you are. Good. It was really good. How y'all been? Good. Where did you go? Thailand. How long did you go there? I was there for four days. 
Yeah, let me see your nails. This is who I was talking about. I was just telling them about you on my blog. You oh. always have the prettiest nails. Oh, thank you. You can check out her new jewelry. Let me see. You got engaged. I was just about to say, wait, yes. you got a jewelry line? Congratulations. Oh, That's beautiful. He did good. He did a good job. He did a yeah. good job. <laughs> I wanted to ask you because my, my nail girl quit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I know I always ask you, <clears throat> but yeah. I never write down the name or her exact name gotcha. so <clears throat> i'm sorry <clears throat> i'm dealing with some acid reflux yeah, beautiful. thank you um can i get the name of your salon yeah. and your so uh, tech and nail spa facial time yo bdk pasta swatch smells so amazing y'all it's like i really need to start wearing this more often it's like literally the perfect vacation scent but like it's just a pretty girly summer scent. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want after this club. Uh, you know you're nasty. You know you're nasty. Yeah. Don't go over out of my house. You try to taxi. Right my I'm yeah. picky with my baby. I'm deciding. Yeah. If you call me to your baby, I'm sliding. Y'all, I've been in there for I know a good hour and it's hot as hell in this car, but my cucumber mint lime juice is still cold. No ice. I didn't put no ice in it, it's still cold, it's not warm at all. That is amazing. Okay, skin looking good, lips have gone down drastically. Y'all gotta get that Dior lip maximizer conditioner it has arnica in it i think i want to say or well it could it might be the cucumbers too i want to say that had a lot to do with the swelling going down fast because wow what a difference between a few hours ago so i don't know girl i'm kind of liking my natural lips i might i might not i might not get them redone who knows oh well, for real for real they trying to see the deal see me up under the sheet parade in the streets it's way too big for me i'm so glad my lips uh not swollen like they was this morning because baby i wouldn't be in that bit of be in here like this oh we oh my god the seats so the console looks exactly like my car it's it's the console is the exact same hey bmw yep everything is the same all right let's see if we get a little charge here but this is different like look at this the start and stop button is different I guess what you just do like that and flick that and it goes into gear which is pretty cool flick it up the dial has that like diamond bezel look to it and then you can turn the volume up from here you can turn the volume up or you can do it Okay, we're going to have to go and check and see if I got that in my car, which I don't think I do. So, this part is definitely all different. 
the seats, the leather. This is a really nice um, leather. The seats are super nice. So where is the TV? The sunroof, the moon roof is large. It is, is, it is extremely large. See, I like the i7. The i7 is very, very up high tech and upgraded. It has a push release button here to open the door, like the Tesla. Love that. It's push button. It's I mean it's um a touch screen. Love that. Yeah, I'm so liking how my lips looking right now. I don't know. I even like my smile much more now than my lips are dissolved. This is a nice ass car. It's just, it's way too big. This is a car for like Shaq, like a tall man. Like this is a really big car, it's long. Like I feel like I would have trouble. If I got this car, I feel like I would have trouble parking this car. I would have trouble. I don't even know if this car would fit in, fit in my garage. It's that long. I feel like next, probably like in the next year or two, they're going to have the i4s like this where the whole inside and the dash is touchscreen. it's not like that now it's push button but i feel within the next one to two years they're going to update all of the um the i series electric bmws to um, mirror this i7 because this i7 looks like the prototype i4 on the inside the prototype i4 was like oh you couldn't wait till it came out i feel like this is what the i4 should have had like at the end but it was the first it was the first electric bmw baby not not it's ergonomic it's not coming out the seats I also like these door handles as opposed to mine. I kind of struggle with opening my doors because it's more so like a lift and you don't really have anything to grab. Whereas this one, it's a release button on the inside that you push and you can easily just pull the door out. I'll show you mine. I'll show you mine when I go up to it and how I struggle with opening my door. And then this is what the back looks like. That's nice. Check that out. That's neat. Yeah, it looks like you got two ways to open the door. So you got this way that you can open the door. But then you also got this way you can open the door. That's neat. Then check out this. Climate menu. Swipe up to unlock. Oh, that is neat. It's like a little iPhone in the activate charging. Where? Let this down. Activate charging and you Wow okay yeah they're gonna they're i'm yeah i'm definitely gonna need them to upgrade my car that's nice that's nice bro you got some displays you can adjust the brightness my modes let's look at what digital art is giving hey frank i might be on tv this is nice Hello, children. Hello, children. <laughs> Open all blinds. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let's go ahead and close them yeah. back. And of course, some of them have what they call a theater screen. It's, it's this, it folds <laughs> down mm -hmm. and then it comes across. So some people may ask, how do you see out the rear view mirror if you're driving? So you use the side mirrors. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one doesn't have the no. TV. Oh, it okay. doesn't have the. Uh, uh, mm. This is nice, Frank. 
it is it's nice. really big though it's, no it's i know long, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. yeah there's a lot of this is a long car it's, <laughs> well it's always been uh, like a limo mm -hmm. a luxury limo you know the the length uh mainly for four people but you could seat six if you needed to um, you could i mean i say six five. i mean you could see five okay yeah yeah it's nice it's nice very luxury very much luxury i do feel like some of the amenities in here in the next one to two years mm -hmm. it's gonna be in the i4 because I mean, it just needs yeah. to be it just needs now, to be like the touch is, screen now guess what the new i5 comes here around november we're already taking orders uh, on the website uh pre-orders fifteen hundred dollar deposit um i5 okay mm -hmm. and it'll have all that this car has except a little smaller so it'll have more than your car has but it's wow. a tradition a, a five series and the new five gasoline or the ice car will have all that um the the same look it just won't be an electric car and then they also make a five series hybrid which is going to be probably 35 or some 40 miles of range which would be part gas and part electric mm -hmm. so we have pure electric i5 then we have the 540 and the 530i which is all gas then we have the 530e which is a hybrid mm -hmm. which would mainly be you know for people that say well i I need to go be able to go long trips so that way you have the gasoline option so if the battery runs out it just automatically converts to the gas mm, okay you won't feel any lug or any hesitancy or like it won't stall or or hiccup or anything so you said the i5 will have like it'll have, like it'll have this. Same, I think so it's gonna have a lot of this it may not it may not be I haven't seen one yet so mm -hmm. I can't tell you for sure but uh, it came out uh, what's today the 30th about uh, the 24th so about five days ago the tv too i don't think that the i5 will have the tv because there's not quite enough room i don't think that but i may be wrong i haven't seen the options on it all we've seen is a website allowing customers bmwusa.com go to um, the vehicles section and when you go there it'll say i5 pre-order mm -hmm. you click on that you put in your name, email address. This is the typical refundable $1,500 deposit. Um, they are guaranteed the first productions, the people that do that. Then once, they're not ordering the car then, they're just putting their name on a list. Right, like I did. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you did. It's exactly like you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, I'm glad you said that. So this was what I was talking about as far as my door handle. So you see how you have to lift it like this. And sometimes when my nails are too long, you know, it, it makes it really hard. And plus, like, when I'm opening the door, I almost kind of, like, have to hurry up and, like, grab this section so it don't close. Because it will close, like, all the way. Ooh. Ooh wee my lips look so different. Oh, Okay, so I got some new, new gym equipment. So we better go down stairs. Damn, it's been raining. I am so glad I have not uncovered my fire pit because it just would not stop raining. Okay. So we got we got a new package. Yeah, we might be getting these lips redone, baby. This is a, this is, this is, this is different. I know this passive swap perfume smells good as hell. I know that.
get to drill out a hole though. Look at this shit. This this what I'm talking about, Amazon. They don't forget to drill out a whole hole that I'm supposed to drill it. I can't I can't never get excited about nothing that I I, I can't never be excited about nothing. I can't never be excited about absolutely nothing. doing I really did not think that that dissolver works I, I really thought that I was gonna have a little bit of filler left over in my lip baby all of the filler is gone all of the migration anything that was in this area like the duck lip gone because let's be honest it was, it was giving a little duck duck goose <laughs> it was baby all that's gone this is me look at the profile Ain't no wonder lips. Ain't no hey. How you doing? It ain't none of that. It ain't none of that. Now, do you see what I mean about the like the spacing in between this part to my cupid's bow? So, with that being said, because I said that if I like my natural lips, then I probably wouldn't, you know, get them filled again. I am getting them filled again. I totally am. I totally am. Yep. Yep, 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 I am because I just got used to them being filled, but I'm going to do a totally different shape. So the bottom lip isn't going to be like a booty bottom lip anymore. It's probably going to be, even though I really like the booty bottom lip, I'm probably not going to do that. We're going to go with, go with something more hydrating and natural looking not as like plump but definitely not like this because wow like oh girl hold on maybe i need to comb my hair brush my hair because this is just i'm just like who is this you know i don't mean to sound ridiculous but i don't know who this woman is who is she who is she Maybe I need some lipstick or some girl, cause <laughs> J okay, it's 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 a shock factor. It is. It's a shock factor for me. I don't know. Y'all probably gonna be like, "Hey, you don't need to even get your lips done. You have beautiful lips." Da 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 da. I know this what some of y'all gonna say. Even when I smile, like my smile just. I like it because I thought that you know what I'm saying like it was really gonna like make my teeth look bigger with my lips being it the natural size but actually not really I just ain't seen them in a while girl I ain't seen you in a while girl that's all 
This always seems to a while. So, I don't know. We'll know in two weeks. We, we will see in two weeks. But the filler is, is completely dissolved. Like, it ain't even have to take 24 hours. It is gone. It is really, really gone. The first time I got my lips done was in 2019. All of the filler. Any residue and leftover, all of the filler is gone. It's gone. Hey. I do see a lot of lines in my lips though. Like. It is. It's definitely a lot of lines in my lips. Okay, so once again. Um. That freaking tripod that I bought off of uh, Amazon has broken. I, well, I bro I broke it even more. It was just not doing, not giving what it want. What I, it basically, once it starts sliding down, I get really frustrated and and I end up breaking it. So I broke that one again. I broke it, and um, we're using the gimbal. And I don't want nobody to call themselves trying to judge me, but I am just now unpacking my Thailand bag. Yeah. This has been on the first floor of our cabin room the entire time since I got back. I have not even attempted to bring it upstairs. Today was the first day because I had energy. I bet my shoes are all kinds of bent out of shape because they've been sitting in this bag upright for what a week and a half oh I just know my Dolce & Gabbana is bent oh lord I fucked this shoe up I ain't even wore it yet look what I did to this shoe that is a fucking mess However, oh damn, <clears throat> when I put it on, you can't tell the difference, but when I take it off, you can. We're going to have to, let's look at the other one. The other one probably is just as bad. Oh, the other one, no issues. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to stretch, stretch this one out somehow. I gotta unpack so I can repack. That's really the only reason why I'm unpacking this bag is because I have to repack it. Something that I should have done when I first got home. Let's see, is this dress messed up? No. No, it's not messed up. I'm probably gonna wear that with some wide leg pants or something with these um Dolce and Dolce and shoes. Jersey!